Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge Blade Works. So I figured I'd show you real quick what I carry in my vehicle all the time. This is kind of my vehicle everyday carry. And uh, where I live in the North Woods, a lot of the times, uh, you know, you get stuck or lost or break down or, you know, uh, you have problems with, the, you know, the vehicle where it's uh, overheating or something like that and you're stuck on the side of the road with a flat tire or whatever. <clears throat> So I'm just going to real quick go through and show you what I carry in my uh, vehicle. And I know a lot of people think I'm crazy by doing this, but where I live, this is almost a necessity. And I drive a Jeep Cherokee, little four-wheel drive Jeep Cherokee, and uh, all this stuff goes on the back comfortably, and I have plenty of room for other stuff. And uh, I'll show you what I got. So I carry uh, two or three gallons of antifreeze at all times, motor oil. Um, in case you pop a hole in your uh, radiator and then I always have like three or four jugs of water But when it's really cold and freezing out, it's hard to keep water in the in the back of the Jeep without it Popping or whatever and this is not potable water here. This is actually soapy water I was messing with one of the trailer tires trying to patch it. But anyways, uh So this heat is the alcohol that you can it's isopropanol alcohol that you put in your uh, fuel tank because it gets so cold here that your uh, fuel will freeze in the fuel lines and that's when it's like 40 below zero or whatever and you start having problems uh jumper cables keep those in case i gotta jump you know and usually i have longer ones in there but i'm just kind of showing you a quick kit of what i carry most of the time um i don't know why i carry this this was in here we were having an axe throwing contest uh last year and we had it you know uh in little areas for the kids to stay out of the caution tape and I just figured I'd throw it in the vehicle because it's kind of cool to have it in there in case of an emergency or whatever. And you could always use it for cordage. Uh, Tums, you know, in case you get heartburn. And I keep some hand warmers. And I keep uh, a full toolbox right here full of tools. I'm not going to really show you what's in there. You kind of know what's in the toolbox. I carry a chainsaw because I'm always out cutting firewood to warm up the garage. And then this is uh, the mix for the chainsaw. And the gas, usually I don't like to keep that in the truck, but unless I'm going to cut firewood. But this is the uh, oil for the saw to, for the chain, chain lube or whatever. And I carry a file kit. It's four or five different files that I carry for the chains on the chainsaw and some earplugs. And I usually have safety glasses in here. I don't know where they're at. They're probably in the toolbox right now. And this is a tire uh, patch kit or a plug kit. And I usually carry a couple cans of... Uh, and they're, they're in the vehicle right now. I just can't find them. Um, they're probably buried in there somewhere with all the other junk. But I carry a couple cans of uh, the tire uh, plug. I don't know what you call it. Anyways, where you can blow up your tire if you you know you have a problem or whatever with a hole in it. Um, this These are snare. A friend of mine gave me these, and I thought they were pretty cool, so I just threw them in the vehicle. You never know when you're going to need some snares. A whole bunch of them right there. <laughs> And WD-40 and duct tape, I mean, you can like build a car with this stuff or a house or anything. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. And I do have a new roll in my pack that I carry with me. So that's that's just what's left over. So I just threw it over here so you guys can kind of see what, what, what I'm doing here. And where I live, you always want to have a blanket. And this is a wool blanket. Can't say enough about those. And these are one of the crank up flashlights with the radio stations and everything on them and they're awesome and that thing could sit in the car for a year and you could crank it up and it'll be ready to roll instead of a you know finding dead batteries in your flashlight you use this about a bazillion times and that's a come along and you can you know hook that with one of your straps to a tree and pull yourself out of the mud or the snow or whatever if you're out there by yourself i have a big shovel and a small military fold-up shovel that i always have in the vehicle because i'm always getting stuck in the mud or the snow or whatever and four pairs of gloves usually there's probably more in there under the seats or wherever I, I hide them all over in there because your hands are always getting cold where i'm at and uh these are just some insulated gloves and then these are choppers right here these are the best ones for the snow and they're the uh ones with no fingers they're kind of like mittens and you can take your fingers out if you want they have a the little flap right there and those are really nice in the cold and then uh i have an ice scraper and it and a snow, a deal to knock the snow off the window of the car, and another small ice scraper that I throw under the seat. And this caution vest 
in case uh, you're on the side of the road trying to change a tire in the middle of the night or something or lost, you could use this for signaling, put it on a pole or the end of this uh, scraper and wave it around so people can see you. And there's a jack. And uh, I do have underneath the hood of the Jeep, there's the other stock uh, little crank up and down jack that they have on those. And they work really good also because a lot of times you go to use these jacks and when they've been sitting for a long time, they won't work. So, you know, that's kind of a redundancy is have two of them. And I have a small strap and then a large strap and these are the yank straps. And the reason I have two of them is I hook them together. A lot of times if I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, you can't get back to where I'm at. Somebody else will come to tow me out. And, uh, you know, you have a long ways, a couple, what, a hundred foot or something of strap that you can hook to a tree and pull yourself up close to the road with a come along and then uh you know when you get up far enough you got a couple straps where you can hook them to another vehicle and pull yourself out and i always have a couple jackets sweatshirts and whatever in the jeep <clears throat> and this this isn't just in the jeep this is in all of our vehicles this is what we what we usually carry most of this stuff and uh saw for cutting firewood or if you have a log that's down in the middle of the road so you don't have to use your pocket knife or something you know and you have a hatchet and then a, uh, a bigger saw. And I have a sheet for this one. I'm, I'm trying to find it right now. It's somewhere in here. And I carry a lot of bungee cords for strapping stuff on the rack. Uh, I like to find different wood and rocks and all kinds of junk like car bodies and stuff out in the woods all the time. So I always have at least uh, four or five of the big straps like this or the bigger straps. And then uh, a whole bunch of bungee cords to tie stuff to the rack of the Jeep or the Suburban. But anyways, uh, mosquito net, that's a must where I live. The bugs get really bad in the springtime or, you know, right around spring and summer. And then right here I have a machete and that's a must because where I live, the brush gets just crazy thick. If you got to go trucking through the woods, you're going to be hating life without a machete. And, uh, like I said, there's a toolbox full of tools. And then this pack here. I carry this, it's always in the Jeep, and it has uh, toilet paper and toothbrush and deodorant and clothes and socks and underwear and all kinds of stuff in it. And uh, I just, that's always stays in there. I don't take it out or nothing like that. I just uh, figured I'd show you guys this kit. And uh, this is an awesome emergency kit. If you're broke down on the side of the road or whatever, and this is what I carry all the time in the Jeep, I figured I'd share with you guys. Thanks for joining me. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please uh, leave a nice comment. Give me a thumbs up and uh, thanks for subbing on my channel. Appreciate it.